I wanted, I wanted to talk about this because this seems to be just like a crazy, crazy take, okay? First off, look at that guy's face, okay? I have never seen someone give like the, 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 the face so accurately in my lifetime. Oh my goodness, I love smelling my own farts. This is so good. Like that, that face is just like, this is, this is it. Um, this is truly it. Second off, you don't know the face? You know the face. The face, the, the face. That's the face of a conference speaker getting a stupid question. <laughs> Emphatic statement. There are no programmers in five years. Type one in the chat if you believe this statement. I'm actually just curious. Don't troll. No trolling. I want to see it. One, one in the chat if you believe this statement. I see nobody can follow instructions. Literally, no one can follow instructions. Oh, gosh, I hate you guys so much. I swear to... I swear to... I H-E double hockey sticks, people. We're going to do a poll. All right, Twitch. Let's see this, dude. <laughs> nah, you guys suck. No programming in five years. Yes, no. Uh, I'll, I'll put some, uh, let's see, greatly changed. Mild changed. Greatly changed. Uh, no real change. There we go. I figured that's probably a little bit more realistic is that there's going to be change. Options out of order? Exactly. I'm curious what people th think. Poll for YouTube? No. Okay, so see, YouTube, you're already making me upset. YouTube, I'm letting you out. I'm letting you out. We demand rights. <laughs> Okay, I appreciate that guy. <laughs> that guy, you deserve to be on Twitch. All right, all right, so let's see. We got, we actually have a few people, four people think that there will be no programming in five years. Wow, wild. Five people. I think some of those have to be trolls. I think so, at least one of them's real. Um, so I'm gonna give you like my general take on this one which is, I really, uh, by the way, I hope on the box art, we just get this guy's face. I just want this guy's face. I want this as a box art. I, I'm gonna take this as a box art, by the way. Haley, free box art, let's go. I would say that in the next five years, if you aren't deep diving and being something more than a React script kitty, if you aren't understanding your terminal, understanding Vim, becoming the best you can be, becoming the person that can do stuff that's really deep and difficult, I would say that, yeah, you're probably going to be obsoleted pretty quickly, okay? Next 10 years, yeah. But if you're the one that can figure stuff out and you go deep, you're going to be the one that's not obsolete. You should figure out how to become an amazing pr uh, programmer. You should at some point tweak and argue about things. You at some point should really go after stuff. This is already true. No, it's not true right now. There is so dang much effort that is still needed, right? People should always have a backup plan. If the world could get rid of all programmers, there is no backup plan. What do you mean? What's the backup plan? Playing video games? Like, that's the reality is if, if we could do that, no, you wouldn't even be plumbers. Plumbers wouldn't even be needed, right? Nothing would be needed. Everything would just be automated. The robots would build the robots doing everything we need them to do until the person who owns it decides they don't like a certain set of people. Anyways, I think that's, the, I, I mean, to me, that's the more scary part of all of this kind of stuff is that when all this happens and everything becomes automated and the robots are walking around all over the place, the reality is, is that some company is going to own it. They're going to have the greatest amount of power ever just sitting in every last person's house, right? Like to, to me, that's the more scary set of things, right? The scary set of things is that. As far as this goes, like when light, when this does happen, honestly, whatever things you have concerned about and all that, life will be so different. Having a second profession in the bag does not matter, okay? It's not going to matter. It's just not. And it's silly to think it will, right? Just use Vim, enjoy your life, argue about what you want to argue about. Enjoy what you want to enjoy. If you're a nine to five or clock in, clock out, if you are somebody who wants to go deep and become extremely useful, be that person, okay? Because if you're just, if, if you're going to base all of your decisions off of a potential future at some point that may or may not happen, you just got to realize like that's like one of the worst ways to live your life, okay? Don't plan on Skynet. Plan on like, like what's the next three years look like? Plan on that. It'll be great. That's how I look at it. I want to try to maximize my ability to work at my job, to enjoy the time with my family, to deepen my expertises. And that's that, right? Like, that's what I want to do. That's it. The name. I'm not nearly as black-pilled as this, right? I'm just going to enjoy. I'm just going to enjoy the things that I have and become awesome at what I do. And I'm going to try to build my craft and become good at it. And even if, even if I don't have a reason to build stuff, I will build stuff out of the enjoyment of building something. You know what I mean? Enjoy. Enjoy. A gen.